Before the opening bell, U.S. indices, they were closed yesterday, Monday, July 4th, to observe Independence Day here in the U.S., while U.S. stocks, they closed higher on Friday, led by shares in automobiles and components, retailing pharmaceuticals and biotech and life sciences sectors. On the economic docket, the market U.S. manufacturing PMI rising to 51.3 in June and a final estimation from 50.7 the previous month, while construction spending fell by 0.8 percent in May and also ISM manufacturing increasing to 53.2 in June. Advancers ahead of decliners, 58 percent of S&P 500 constituents trading higher on Friday. Now, after the market closed, Tesla announcing that second quarter production was up 20% month over month to 18,345 vehicles and second quarter weekly production was less than 2,000 vehicles. Cisco also announcing the acquisition of Supplies on the Fly, an innovative e-commerce platform providing restaurant supplies and equipment exclusively to the company's customers. Prices of this acquisition not disclosed and Halliburton announcing that Mark McCollum will resume his role as company's CFO. Now, turning overseas, Asian markets mostly under pressure today. The Nikkei down 0.67%. The Hang Seng down a little more than 1.5%. China's CSI 300 on the upside 0.08%, while South Korea's Coast Speed down more than a quarter percent. European markets are trading lower, except the FTSE 100, supported by the Bank of England announcement to reduce the UK counter-cyclical capital buffer rate from half a percent to zero percent. Now, back here in the United States, there are no major earnings expected. While on the economic dock at 10 o'clock this morning, we have July IBD, TIPP, economic optimism expected at 48.3. While we also have May factory orders and durable goods orders at 10 o'clock as well. The S&P 500 to trading central analyst sees a bullish bias above 2062. Even though a continuation of the consolidation cannot be ruled out, its extent should be limited. Long positions above 2062 are favored with targets at 2105 and 2126 in extension. Moving on, the Nasdaq sees the bias remain bullish, preferring long positions above 4345. And the Dow Jones sees limited upside, preferring long positions above 17,580.